Have you ever wondered how you can use your amazing comments on other people's posts as prolific content that sparks curiosity and engagement? Well, you're in luck. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn comments into content. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Monica and I help coaches enhance their businesses and offers with AI so their businesses are ready for the future and they can 10x their productivity and profitability. I also have a little walkthrough uh, so you don't have to remember everything I show you, but if you want a little walkthrough, you just drop me a line and I'll send it to you um, straight away. Okay, now let me put my glasses and change my screen and I will show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so the very first thing is to get into the habit of leaving meaningful comments on other people's posts. And what do I mean by meaningful? I mean big, meaty, full of value comments that actually help someone. And by the way, if you do that, you will start seeing how people are drawn to your comments they probably check you out, they may reach out to have a conversation and those conversations may end up in sales, which is awesome. But uh, what we are doing is we are going to collect all these big, meaningful, meaningful, meaty comments and we are going to store them somewhere. So we're going to save them somewhere uh, where they don't get lost. And then once we start having comments, we are going to start feeding them individually. So we're going to be creating one new content from each uh, comment. We're going to feed them into ChatGPT and we're going to ask ChatGPT to do these three things. Number one, we're going to ask it to change the grammar and spelling because most of us type on our phones and make so many, many, many mistakes that we don't even see them. The second thing, we're going to ask ChatGPT to go through this comment and highlight, sorry, highlight, uh, and highlight things that you may have missed. So something that will add even more value to your already big, meaningful media comment. And the third thing we're going to ask ChatGPT is to reorder, if needed, reorder our thoughts into something more coherent. Then we are going to ask ChatGPT to take that comment that we have, use the recommendation it's given us, and create a brand new piece of content that is engaging and sparks curiosity. Okay, so if we've done our job right and if we've prompted ChatGPT the right way, we are going to get an extremely valuable prolific piece of content that people would want to consume because you have already uh, verified that somebody has asked a question and you have answered this question with your comment already. Okay, now the next thing we can do is spin it even further. So uh, once we get um, a piece of the new content that is uh, really sparking curiosity and engagement, we're going to take that piece of content, so this is our content, and we're going to uh, also add comments, so these are comments by other people that are prolific and that uh, um, ask questions. So not something that says, yeah, 100% and, or I love it. It has to be something of uh, uh, something meaningful. And we're going to feed it back both of these things. So you may have multiple comments and you're going to feed your original or the brand new content that you created from your comment and uh, ChatGPT suggestions 
plus the comments of other people and ask ChatGPT to create yet a brand new piece of content incorporating both your content and the comments of others plus you're going to ask it to again highlight stuff highlight stuff that uh, is probably missing and reorder the whole uh, content into something coherent and now you have a brand new piece of content and you can actually do this time and again and always stay on the same topics that are important for other people but spin them in a completely different way so do you see how this little tactic can be extremely valuable in terms of creating content that people already want to consume so uh if you want to uh, get this walkthrough just drop me a line and i'll send it to you